I'm Harville Hendricks. I'm Helen LaKelly Hunt. And we are partners in life and work. And one of our works is the is Safe Conversation, which we've created that helps people talk. And today we are wanting to talk to two people across the world whom we will introduce in just a moment. Safe Conversations has spread to 17 countries. And um, uh, we, we are glad, uh, you know, we're really interested in how this is impact impacting other countries. Yeah. And we don't know, because we haven't had a chance to really uh, discuss this with Ali yet. But. So, yeah, and, but we're finding out and we'll find out today and we want to share that with you. And in Iran this morning, uh, Ali is available. And he and Iran, uh, Ali is a part of the uh, Global Safe Conversations movement. And we want to introduce him in that capacity and hear what's happening in Iran. And he has a friend named Habib, uh, who is also on. So shall we go to um, see yes. what um, Ali, Ali wants to say about himself? Tell us about the two of you. My name is Ali, and uh, from Iran, actually. <laughs> and Habib is my friend. We, we've been pretty, uh, I think uh, I met him three years ago, and we talk a lot. Every day we talk about everything. We talk about psychology, uh, talk about uh, uh, everyday life events, talk about everything. Uh, I, I love him. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and I do a couple uh, therapy. I'm a safe conversation leader in Iran. Uh, I also, um, I'm also an Imago uh, therapist. I started to be an Imago therapist five years ago. And uh, I see uh, clients at my own office. I've been uh, married uh, 10 years ago, but I have no kid right now. <laughs> and uh, I love my wife too. Ah, that's mm. wonderful to hear. <laughs> yes, and so maybe Habib, now could you introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, sure. Thank you for having me here, Arvel. Um, and Helen, uh, my name is Habib, and I'm a researcher in the field of psychological trauma. So I've been doing research in this field for the past five years uh, during my bachelor's and master's year. And I'm no expert in uh, safe conversations, but I'm familiar with that as I'm friends with Ali. Uh, so I'm, I will be happy today to share my stories uh, of coping with this the ongoing crisis in Iran and the world. Well, we are delighted that you are on, and we're delighted, Ali, that you're on. And tell, uh, you tell, pick us, up and, tell us about the crises. Yeah, tell uh, us about the crisis. We, we know from Ali, he mentioned 10 days ago or a week ago that it's the new year there, and people are trying to celebrate the Persian New Year, um, but then also in the midst of. It's a little a time of hope for you, and the but what what is it like? Okay, now uh, everything is up in the air right now here, <laughs> and you know this is kind of paradox in uh, Happy New Year festival. People greet each other, go to each other's place, and uh, uh, kiss on their cheek, and they shaking hands, something like this. They go. Um, they, they go out with each other, but uh, un, unfortunately, is it, um, I think it's gonna be the first festival that we cannot do them, uh, all of them. So we need to stay home, uh, but, but you know, if I wanna uh, talk about some other people, some people uh, don't take it serious. They, they greet each other, they go, they go out, they do everything. Uh, maybe maybe they underestimate the risk of the danger, the risk of the uh, being infected. 
but 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 some uh, people stay home keep uh, physical distancing yeah. uh, and they and they call to their friends relatives to agree to say happy new year or something like this yeah so there is a quarantine going on as there is across the world and some people like everywhere are honoring it and some are not and so what how are you doing and how are you feeling uh, with this uh, personally and uh, uh, and about your work? I'm not in my hometown uh, right now uh, because my parents live in another city. I, and my wife and I came, came to the city to uh, be with them. They are old, they need support, and they need us to be with them. So we came here and uh, all of my workshops have been canceled. Uh, I do uh, couple therapy and uh, counseling online. Uh, my uh, colleagues and I have some online workshops for people how to cope with uh, their with their anxious, their stress. Uh, for me, you know, uh, I'm a kind of relaxed person. So, so I do everything. So I I greet, I shake hands, I I, I kiss. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's a kind of Relax, I, uh, but I am okay. Uh, I'm a lucky man too. Uh, but right now, the first thing that I do is to be with my parents, to support them, to talk with them, to reassure them that uh, uh, we will uh, we will pass this uh, kind of situation. And my wife too. My wife is uh, with me here, and we uh, stay at home. Ali, what do you think is the potential for safe conversations? Like if we could get it out, you know, we're, we're um, excited that we're isolated here in Dallas and it's so uh, special in a global crisis to be able to talk to you guys this morning as Ali, you've been staying in touch with us anyway, but it's like the time for the world together. But in Iran, what do you see as the potential or, or your, or your relationships suffering? I just got a, a uh, message this morning an article in China that the divorce rate is increasing in China and how are your families doing and is there a yes 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 you know you know we have a joke here and uh, people say to each other that we might face a sharp increase in divorce rate after finishing this quarantine period you know because uh, couples have to stay home with each other so it's not surprising that they uh, face more conflicts uh, Couples call me, some, some of my uh, clients uh, call me and object about overestimating and underestimating the risk of infection. Now, men tend to underestimate uh, and to be more relaxed and women are willing to overestimate and be more stressed out. So it's kind of conflict between them. Uh, of course, they need to talk, they need to support each other, understand and validate each other, empathize. They can do all of them by safe conversations. They need to talk to each other, but they don't know how. Uh, they, they need, okay, you are stressed out, okay. You say there is nothing to worry. Just, just mirroring and talking to each other, validate each other. So I like to use Harvey's metaphor about the safe conversation. I will say that like it's kind of chalk that you can put everything on it. It can put your frustration, it can put your anxious, uh, appreciation, stress, everything, and can move I, forward. Can I marry you back? <laughs> what I'm yeah. here to say is you like the way that Harville talks about safe conversation is a truck, yeah. and you can put anything on it. You can express yeah. something you're liking uh, about the world or your, or something that just happened and the other person can marry you back and you feel connected or you could uh, talk about problems or frustrations and did I get it? Is that the point you were making? Yes, yes. That, yeah, and if oh. we just talked differently, <clears throat> Harville has this vision, we just have to learn a different way to talk to each other. So, um, so thank you so much for sharing this. And so um, Ali and Harv and I are buddies <laughs> and wanting to help yeah. any family that's str struggling and their relationships are stressed. Uh, and especially if, if the parents are getting their divorce, we want them to know there's a, something that could help save them.
those families and make them feel better. Yeah, and um, you just gave them an illustration of what it would look like to be mirrored back so that people can pick it up. Well, right and I know that you, Allie, had a couple on Zoom that was going to now do uh, use safe conversations with the frustration, but you mentioned Zoom ain't so great in uh, Iran, and uh, but they were going to change your frustration into a request and demo that on this on this uh, video. And they are here right now, I think. They are Mahdi. here. Okay. All right, oh. yeah. Hi. hi everybody oh hi how are you oh. oh hello what are your names uh my name is shiva and uh, my name is mahdi mahdi you can also call me matthew if it's hard to say mahdi yeah thank you for volunteering to do the demo of converting a frustration into a request no actually thank you for having us well we're just an honor pleasure tell us a little about yourself and what what would you think they should talk about how but every how how would you define yourself for the viewing audience yeah well uh how would i i'm a stressful person and i'm kind <laughs> and uh i would say are you all a, um, are you all married or yeah we're married you're married how long have you been married We've been married for two and a half years. And do you have any kids? No, we don't. And so do you both work outside of the home or just inside? Well, the no, you're inside. Yeah, yeah we're uh, currently, it's our Noru's holiday. So everywhere is closed and Mahdi's having some online classes, but I don't work okay. right now. Okay. Oh, um, but well, generally I work outside. I, I, you know, I teach English in some institutes. And I also have my own office, so uh, I go out. I spend most of the day outside, either in the institute or in my own office. But I barely work at you know at home. You now these days, because of the circumstances, I have to stay home and I have to work from home, which to me is fine. I you know I hold out on classes, and that's not much of a problem, except it's uh, mandatory. And this being mandatory is kind of a burden upon my shoulders. Sometimes it's hard you know, to stay to have to stay at home, but I gotta put up with it. Well, I have a question. You all have been yeah. married a little over two years, and you all look awesome, and you're sort of <laughs> glowing, and you look happy, and uh, it seems like maybe you were really once in love, and that uh, you have a great relationship. However, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you still are. As, yes. as we talk about it, uh, there are three phases of a relationship. There's romance, there's the power struggle, and then eventually you find real love. And have you ever found yourself in the power struggle? Or have you ever had a frustration with each other? Yes, of course. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be honest if we said no to that. <laughs> okay, drum roll. I'll turn this over to Harville. Yeah, okay. So what we would like uh, to, as you know, do this show in order to also make available the safe conversation process to as many people as possible. And we heard from Ali that you all might be willing to let us walk you through um, a, a safe conversation process called uh, sharing uh, or mirroring of frustration and be a very simple process. So would you all be willing to do that? Yes, yeah, absolutely. By all means. Great. So why don't you turn as much as you can and face each other um, and on the, on the couch. The first thing you need to do is make an appointment. Now, which yeah. of you uh, would like to express the frustration first? Uh, ladies first, like always. <laughs> okay. So uh, Shiva. Yes. Um, uh, uh, you, do you have a frustration in mind? Well, I have a lot, but <laughs> by one only because yeah. uh, because it's very important. Uh, the point of expressing the frustration and the way we're teaching you is to increase the likelihood that he will change. Uh, if you if you're upset with him, if you have a negative look in your eye. And you're frustrated he'll get reactive and withdraw 
So you want to pull him into a conversation by um, yeah. saying, hey, Matthew, uh, I have a frustration um, and is now a good time that I could share it with you. And uh, the reason is if Matthew isn't available now, he'll say no, but he'll tell you when he's available so he can give you his undivided attention. Yeah. So Helen, I'm wondering if yeah. she has a frustration about Matthew, that'd be okay. But if she just has a frustration about the situation, that she could also talk about that. Which one do you think they should pick? In our in our workshops, we always make it personal. We'll make it personal, mm -hmm. okay? So we make something it that he could do to change something that his he behavior. could do to reduce our frustration, mm -hmm. okay? And Matthew, you're willing to engage in a, that conversation? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm asking. I, I just had a thought. Have you all practiced this before? Have you? Uh, work yeah, with. we've done it. Uh, we had sessions with Dr. Rasemian, and we are familiar how to do it. We've, okay. we've done it before. So um, ask Matthew if he's available now. Matthew, are you available now? Uh, what kind of availability are we talking? I want to share something with you. Yeah, I'm all ears. So you all are now um, looking in each other's eyes and we want you to stay uh, connected with the eyes and you've uh, taken a deep breath so that you can relax sort of into yourself and one uh, and relaxing into what you're going to say. Um, Shiva and um, Matthew, uh, you're clearing your mind so that you can hear. And so I'm gonna give you what we call specific sentence stems and then would like you to finish the sentence. And are you willing to do that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here's the first sentence, Tim. Shiva say, uh, Matthew, the frustration that I have right now is. Matthew, the frustration I have right now is that we don't spend as much time together as we should. So Matthew say, so if I got that. Mm -hmm. So if I got that. You're frustrated now because we don't spend as much time together as we should. Did I get that? Did I get that? Yes. So is there, more, is there more about is that? Is there more? Yes. We're at home most of the time. And uh, you're sitting separately and you're with your phone and busy with your phone and I'm busy with my phone and we're doing nothing, but we don't spend time together. Uh, let me see if I got that. The more is that you say we're spending time here, both of us at home in the same place, but separately, you with your own phone, I with my own phone. And uh, this uh, is making you upset. Am I right? Yes, that's right. So you say, well, uh, thank you for sharing that. And what, uh, what would you like different? So Matthew, you said, well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, what would you like to be different? What would you like different? Yeah. So now say, well, what I would like that's different is. The different thing I would like is that I want us to spend some time together, doing fun activities together, both of us involved in, in the same thing. So if I got that, what would, be, what would make a difference for you is. So if I got that, what would make a difference for you is that we spend time doing the same thing together at the same time. We be involved in one thing together rather than separately. Uh, am I right? Yes. Okay. So thank you for is sharing. Is there more? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, do. Is there more about that? And let's just see. Thank you for sharing. So look at her. All right. Is there more? Yeah. Is there more? Yes. And. Um, I have a, I have a feeling that if I come to you while you're on your phone, I may be distracting you from your own activities. So if I got so, that, so if I got that right, you uh, have a, you have a thought that if you approach me while I'm on my phone you might be distracting me 
Is that right? Yes. Is there more? So tell me, what can I do to uh, reduce your stress about that? Wait for you. Uh, uh, and so you asked that, Matthew, what can I do? Yeah, so uh, what do you think my part would be? Yeah. What can I do to reduce that uh, feeling for you? Uh, well, I think if you uh, would suggest me to come to you and we do something together, or when I talk to you, you put your phone away, this would make me feel better. Matthew, would you say, so if I got, the, do a summary, if I got your frustration and I got your wish, it was the following. So if I got the frustration right, you get frustrated because we don't spend as much time together while we are at home and we don't engage in the same activity together. And, and also you uh, have a frustrating feeling that when you approach me while I'm busy on my phone, uh, you might distract me. And your wish is that we uh, spend more time together on the same activity and that I put my phone aside and listen to you when you're talking to me. Is that did right? I, did I get yes, it? That's right. And, and I'm willing to do that and tell her what you're willing to do. Did I get it all? Yes, you did. And now that I'm thinking, I am willing to uh, contribute to uh, mutual activities together. And uh, I am willing to, I will from now on listen to you solely and put my phone aside when you're talking to me. So now, uh, um, Shiva, would you mirror back him? So what you're willing to do is, so mirror back what he's willing to do. So if I got it, you're willing to. So if I got it, you're willing to do more fun. You're willing to put your phone away while, when I talk to you or have, uh, us engaged in more activities together. Am I right? Did I get it right? Yes, that's right. So thank you for listening to my frustration and, and giving me my wish. Matthew, thank you for listening to my frustration and wishing to solve it. <laughs> and so thank you for asking. And Matthew, say thank you for asking. Thank you for sharing your frustration and thank you for asking. Shiva, close up with thank you for listening. And thank you for listening. Okay. Hey. Great job. Great thank job. Thank you for listening. So, willing just to say just a, a sentence or two about what it was like for you to uh, do that process. Well, I think this is really uh, good. We sometimes, unfortunately, we don't do it when we are, it's really great. We are not angry, we are calm, uh, we feel respected towards each other, and it's kind of peaceful what we do like this. I really like it, and I hope we get to do it more. It really makes it, uh, you have the frustration, but to do this makes it uh, feel good, feel peaceful, and you hope to do it more. Did I get that? Yes. Yes, okay. that's and what, right. And I wish we had more time. Yes, that's Right. <laughs> express yours, but you all know what to do now, and you can do that after the show. You express your frustration, and then you practice listening and offering him something. Yeah, and let yeah. me let me mention uh, that um, that may I, may I share a personal response listening to you two. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, you all reminded me of me uh, <laughs> when I would be frustrated uh, that Harville wasn't very much fun to be with and Harville was always very frustrated with me because I he didn't want to be with me. I mean, he's an isolator anyway. And so, um, uh, and then I'm a hailstorm or I'm, I'm a, someone who's wanting to engage and so we had a very parallel relationship until we made a commitment to every night get joke books 
And uh, have you ever heard of Groucho Marx? We, we actually got Groucho Marx glasses, <laughs> like little uh, funny glasses that have a mustache. And we put on the Groucho Marx glasses and we tell each other mm -hmm. jokes before going to bed. Or, and sometimes at dinner with uh, them. Yeah. And we did mm -hmm. something to shift the mood to be uh, fun. <laughs> so it, and sometimes it's not what you're asking for, it's how you're asking. If you ask in an angry way. It yeah. Uh, it well, God, you know. yeah. And let me make one other comment about what the process is. Uh, we have a phrase that behind every frustration is a wish. Yeah. And so if you practice uh, thinking, oh, I'm frustrated about this, but you don't share that, just, what do I want, which if I got it, I wouldn't be frustrated. And there's a next step when you get practiced in this is that you just go to the wish. So, and uh, the way uh, Shiva would do that is to say, so Matthew, may I make a request? And the request is that when blah, blah, blah is going on, would you be willing to um, stop being on the phone and talk to me and look me in the eye or whatever your wish is? Then Matthew, you would mirror that and then say, well, I can do that now or I'll do it in a few minutes. But you go to wishes rather than frustrations and it becomes even more peaceful because there's no, in, no exchange at all of the uh, of the negative energy that you might feel around a frustration so anyway i think that's sort of a wrap-up unless you all want to say more about what it was like for you that's one of the best ways to communicate it's safe it's uh predictable and uh it is very very you know uh i would say soul elevating rather than uh uh, kind of, you know, tensions or tension arising. It's, in my opinion, it's a, it's a very, very uh, good way to go through the process of communicating and talking with each other, sharing emotions. Even if you are, uh, you know, very intensely frustrated, you're going to be feeling okay because you know that there's somebody who's going to listen to you because this is going to be a, a, a controlled uh, behavior. Uh, you're not going to get outraged. Uh, the other person is not going to uh, get equally frustrated. We are bound to control each other. And this is my opinion. This is a very, very interesting way of sharing uh, uh, even intense moods and intense feelings. Matthew, yeah. uh, did I hear you say it's soul elevating? Was that your phrase? soul elevating yeah no. okay i've never heard that phrase <laughs> would you say a little yeah, yeah that's what i said would you say a little more about that i've never heard anyone use that phrase before but i was very touched when you used it what i mean is uh sometimes your body's okay but it's your soul that feels like it's locked down and it's imprisoned into a dungeon or something but these conversations they can elevate your soul up to the sky it belongs to mm -hmm. and uh that's why you know that's why i came what came up with this phrase so elevating it elevates not just your mood but also your soul that uh, is so beautiful and when he and he's the person who elevates my soul <laughs> and when he mirrored you back and they were your words i i saw you relax it just to be mirrored even if he hadn't agreed you just suddenly went, he's listening to me. That's, that's what I made up. I saw your face and everything uh, relaxed, like, ah, at last, he's listening. <laughs> exactly. Uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing what it's like to use this safe conversation process. Yeah, yeah thank he you. He always listens. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I wonder if Ali has any final comments. Thank you. Thank you, all Thank for you very us. much. So happy to see you guys. Thank you all for being on to uh, all across the world, demonstrating how human beings can connect anytime they want to in their relationships, but especially in a time of world crisis. It's more important that we connect now. So if we get the skill along the way, then when a crisis comes, you have something to do other than fight. And you all are so courageous 
just to show up for this um, interview and for and doing the demonstration is an act of courage. Yeah. And uh, and you have our appreciation and gratitude. So Ali, do you have any comment? They are a lovely couple. You know, when when I was listening to them, it it warms my heart. Now it's it's kind of a spiritual practice, you know. And 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 I thought I I wanted to show my deep appreciation to you for inviting us, Habib, me, and uh, Mati and Shiva. It, it means a lot to me that you invite us to the show. Well, it means a lot to us that you would come on the show. And because you're helping all of us, and we're all something, that we are connected, we are one humanity, and, and we are now together in a way we didn't anticipate. But we do see that having a crisis, uh, we discover our, our humanity and our connectedness. And if we can remember that when we're not in a crisis, we're going to have a better world, and all of us will be uh, connecting all across the world. What, what, you, um, what they modeled, Ali, was we get frustrated if our partner isn't partnering well. Well, that's sort of a compliment to them because aren't they lucky that we want to be with them? But we get frustrated, and so when we express it in a frustrating way, they want to run. They're scared. And this is why Safe Conversations is called safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that it creates more safety right. where you can deal with what you're really frustrated about. But if you if you deal it with um, making an appointment and then a gentle look in your eye mm -hmm. and a kind tone of voice, your partner is much more likely to respond and say, yeah, let's yeah. make time together. Now that this short video could just transform so many couples yeah. and our families. Because it's it applies to kids. Kids can do this too, so and let's, parents. To kids. Let's see if Habib has a comment about watching the demo, and then I think we'll be close to uh, saying goodbye for today. So Habib, would you like to make a comment about that and uh, what you saw? Well, uh, that was the first time that I uh, actually watched, like how couples in reality can practice self conversation because um, I had heard about that from Ali, but I didn't know how it would work and how uh, peacemaking could be. And uh, I could completely feel how safe they could feel while they were sharing their concerns with each other and their frustration. And uh, I believe that it's a very constructive way uh, for, for communicating our concerns. Well, given that you're a science, um, a scientist around trauma, I mean, nothing gets more traumatic than when couples are fighting. Yeah. And we know about that. <clears throat> we used to do that a lot. And uh, thank you for being on. And Ali, do you have any closing words? I just, I want to say that I also feel connected. As Harvey always say, we are all connected. Yes, and we feel connected to you and to everyone everywhere. And we thank you all for being on and being a part are responding to the biggest crisis uh, human beings have ever faced, so far as we know. And thank you very much. We will stay in touch, Ali, and Persian, Happy New Year to all of you. The spring is coming, and out of the horrible crisis of COVID-19, the spring has to be there somewhere, and it'll and, rise. Yeah, and we want to say to all of you out there watching, thank you for being with us today. We hope that you got a process that can help your relationship also in a time of crisis. Good day. Mm -hmm.